You know, I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? And chewing, also. Oh, yeah. What's the deal with gum? What is the deal with gum? Gum chewer. I hardly even know her. So what's your favorite type of gum? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a tough one. I've never, I've never been asked this question before. And I've never asked this question upon anyone else before either. My gut? And I know this is going to be controversial. I want to hear it. I, I think it. I have to go with Tic Tacs. What? <laughs> and I know... Man, that ain't even a, that's not even a gum. We, it was, we included it in the options. <laughs> oh, wow. I think if we're talking like gum gum, like stringy type gum, String. probably like a, um, like a trident. Or the, uh, what's the, the, the green? I know what you package. mean, yeah. Like one of those, like a little watermelon. That's what I have had. But Tic Tacs are just so funny to me. Because you just go, you know, like, like little M&Ms. And I go through a pack of Tic Tacs quicker than I do gum. Obviously. So you're admitting that Tic Tacs aren't gum and your answer is dumb and stupid. They're gum. But you just... <laughs> they're, gum, they're gum adjacent. Gum, <laughs> gum and gum accessories. <laughs> well, I will gladly say that your opinions are wrong, and mine is the only correct opinion, because the real answer okay. to the best type of gum is the classic gumball, dude. Oh, it's I didn't the think gumball. gumball. You're actually dumb and stupid and, and wah, baby. Brother. Okay, tell me about the flavored lasting longness on the gumball. Uh, definitely not good. See, the thing about the gumball... It's not about the flavor. It's not about how long it lasts. I want a 17 message. seconds of bliss followed by jaw pain. That, that is what I want when I'm thinking of a classic I can uh, arrange that. Can't wait. He, smi <laughs> he just smiled at me really big. There was a long pause there. I wonder if we'll keep that in. <laughs> hey, guys. Whoa. It's a new episode. It's a new episode of... Baton, Baton. Pass. I did the, the second half of both words right there. That was the trick. Whoa. Uh, I did the second half of whoa. <laughs> See? I'm a literary genius. I'm a He's a, they call a, me Mr. Linguistics. A real orator out here. Yep. It's a wonderful evening. It what, is. What it day? is a wonderful it's evening. A, it may or may not be Thursday. We get, we, it's Humble Thursday out we, here. Oh! <laughs> I, humble Thursday. And let me tell you, I'm feeling humble. What, what's uh what's got you feeling humble, Mark? Well, I mean, I just feel so humble because Joe got us the most wonderful gift. The one and only Joe that we may or may not have shouted out in a previous episode. Owner of... Of course, the one and only European eyewear in the F&M area. Check it out. Yes, and I love Lancaster. <laughs> and I love, I love PJ Wall Hands and the Amish. Well, this particular great individual... This, Great guy. The stand-up guy. On the record. On the record. Uh, he actually sent us a little a little package, a little gift basket in box form. Yep. About this big. About yay big. Yep. <laughs> and you'll and if you're a real viewer, if you if you if you're a real visual learner. If you're a real one. Yeah. <laughs> you would know that uh, the contents of this package naturally were Italian seasoning, no dressing, yep. sadly. <laughs> and Foamy soap. Yeah, but it was a big thing of Italian season. It was. I, I know I mentioned we mentioned the soap two episodes ago. Yeah, something and like then that. Yeah. Italian seasoning. That was just buried in some random episode, I, it, dude. <laughs> it was probably that's either the same one. It was either five or four. Yeah, I can't remember. It, it's all a blur. I don't know. Regardless, but, though. But that was so clever and wonderful. We 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 sent him a video. Uh, we sent you, Joe, a video yeah. <laughs> uh, recorded of us our whole reaction. I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I felt it was like it had some heft to it, and I was like, Yeah, I had I, no I, idea. I assumed it was like one like thing. Yeah, that's Maybe what I was thinking too. Well. I don't know. Like, was I like, was thinking he was gonna take our logo and put it on a mug or oh, something like that. Yeah, I didn't. I was like, this isn't like a. It's like I, I don't think it'd be like too. Like not typical. It'd be too typical if it was some sort of like device, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I was like, well, I I, I opened it. And I had a process like, so, like what is this box? And I was like, wait. And you opened it. I was like, wait, this is soap. But before that, I saw the the the, the giant. And I was like, thing. what is this? And I, yeah. it, I thought it was um. I thought, I thought it, was, it was catnip. Dude. I thought it was a. I thought it might have been a list of substances. But I was like, how is that? What is going on? And I'm like, oh, and it, it hit me. Yeah. I was like, holy cow! Yeah, and it's a. A, a full big thing of Italian seasoning. Not because you know, I know. Extremely thoughtful and yeah, kind so gift. So clever and wonderful. Thank you so much, Joe. Seriously. A million bucks going your way. We had to mention it. We had to talk about and it. And the 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 foamy soap is this special brand that it's like 
it comes out in like paw shaped yeah. little like foamy a, forms. A little paw print. It's so cute. The mouth feels incredible. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, I'm gonna be eating, the, eating that. I'm Breakfast, not... lunch, and dinner. Maybe we should actually be careful because if we, we we're telling people we got the soap, they're gonna come through our place. Oh yeah. And talk well, crap. well, I think only Joe, only Joe can dox us. I think <laughs> um, he's got the insider information. I've got my people on it. My bodyguards. Yeah. My goons. The Gabagoons. Hey, are you telling me uh, this cheese is sliced? Are you telling me this this ham loaf is more loaf than ham? I got one bread butt in my fridge right now. Just it's like the there. end of a loaf of bread. That's mm -hmm. kind of iconic. I'm just contemplating. I'm like, I could throw it out, but I'm not going to. But I'm like, <laughs> what? A, it's just kind of sad to just munch on a, a butt end <laughs> and just that. It, no, there is there's something very stoic. Yeah. Something very prideful in taking the end piece of a loaf of bread and deciding, you know what, I will use this. I will not I, just let it go. I, I will eat, I be the, the bigger man. I always eat the butts, so. Yeah, I think I agree. I, I'm the same way. So video games! <laughs> I do like to play games. Guys, I still haven't played Fortnite. No Fortnite it's Mark been, Funny Corner. It's been like two weeks, but I played once like three weeks ago. So it really has been like three weeks more or less. And here we were thinking this was going to be a staple segment of the of Baton Pass. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> just like a little burp. <laughs> say, pine say pineapple. Uh, pineapple. Yeah, that's what you say when you sneeze. I wasn't going to sneeze. Oh, I just wanted to. Uh, I made you look. <laughs> <laughs> made you say it. Um, made you look. My goodness. What were we going to talk about? I, what were we going to talk about? I don't think we about? established anything. We said games. We just said games and then immediately did games. not talk about games. Final Fantasy. Devin, let's hear it. Final Fantasy 16. We just watched the new State of Play, Sony State of Play that came out today. And my goodness, if there's one word to describe Final Fantasy 16, it has to be stunning. This game looks beautiful. It looks amazing. There are probably more particle effects on screen than ants <laughs> oh, in the world it. because it is it look it's very high fidelity. Ants in my pants. I was going to say I I'm, to describe this game in one word, uh particle effects. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. Sorry, I took your joke. Yeah, but uh you're actually like evil and hateful and Yeah. Well, I'm always out here to sabotage and you, devious. you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of fun. So games. Calm down. <laughs> He's going on the rampage. <laughs> Speaking of going on a rampage, let's talk about the the new big feature of Final Fantasy 16, the icon battles. Oh the yes. The controlling the icons, the big, which giant is giant critters. Yeah, it's basically just like you get your own personal Godzilla, and then you just start causing and wrecking and um, engaging in havoc and destruction and death and. Big punch. At least one bruise at is least, had. At least one particle effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks a lot cooler than what they did in uh, Bayonetta 3, which came out, what was that, end of last year? Yeah, I but think. Bayonetta 3 was kind of like a cursed thing through and through with the, the changing, like the whole voice actress drama. Yeah. And then it was it was a Switch title. So. <laughs> yeah. You know, Switch. Uh, <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom's coming out on oh, Nintendo Switch. Oh, I am so Juiced up for that. I've got juice in my veins. What kind of juice do I have in my veins, Devin? It's Tears of the Kingdom juice, oh. of course. What other juice would be in your veins? Like cranberry, <laughs> grape, grape More drink. of a passion fruit kind of juice, dude. You know what I'm I mean? I'm going to Starbucks and get the Pinky Twinkie. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I'll say Oh, Pinky, like Starbucks pink drink. I go to Starbucks and get the Pinky Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I had no idea what you said. That was... Wow. That's that that was the idea. Ugh. That's what's in my veins right now. Not drink. because I just drink water and like Donald Spray. Yeah, I had a Donald Sprite before before this. For those at home, McDonald's Sprite is Donald's, a McDonald's Sprite. Donald's Sprite. For the uninitiated. Yeah. For the, un <laughs> for the uninitiated. For those below the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. Don't know what came over me there. I like That's, that. Whoa. Yeah, Zelda. So, new trailer came out this morning. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not watching it. I saw one screenshot, and I, I it regretted probably, it. Was it the same? Does it start with a G? I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I I saw one. It was like a key art, and yeah. then it had a screenshot yeah. Yeah, yeah. of that, yeah. that character item. 
And I was like, okay. I mean, that's that's not crazy, but I'm like, I just want to avoid. Still the though, after like you yeah. you've seen the one, I haven't seen any, but you've told me about the yeah. one. I want to go into that just as wide eyed yeah. and impressionable as possible. I want to experience that game for the first time. Yeah. When I play it, especially because when Breath of the Wild came out, I was like. It was hard to get a Switch and I couldn't really get one until May. And I was so eager to see Breath of the Wild, so I watched Vinny from Vine Slash just play the absolute hell out of it. Yeah. And I just... Then, like, I played the game and I was like, dang, why did I watch all that? <laughs> dang it! Like, oh, man! Yeah. It's still really cool, though. Yeah. So I'm trying to... So I'm trying to maximize my enjoyment and surprise and wonder, mm -hmm. because... You can't have nice things anymore. No, once you hit the age of 18, all of a sudden, everything that's sugar, spice, and nice becomes... Well, it becomes Sony State of Play. It becomes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, once you pass the point of you don't have to ask your mom to buy you a game anymore, you can just go to the store you and You can just make card. irresponsible yeah. financial decisions. Yeah. That was literally me two nights ago with the Call of Duty Season 3 Battle Pass, because I, I bought it. It's the first time I put money into the game. Guys, he has the battle pass. And I, I and here's the thing, here's the thing. I, I clown on Call of Duty, we clown on EA games, you know, the yearly releases. I want to like Call of Duty, I do. I'm gonna say it, I, I want to like it. Just like I want to like and psychological torture. <laughs> My point is though, I, I want to give this Call of Duty an honest, an earnest effort. And I think, la I, the whole last season I didn't have the battle pass and it was like, it's like I was just playing like an old Call of Duty game where there's just no unlockables. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, you know what? I am going to, to bite the bullet, pay $10. I want to experience this game the way it's meant to be played. Mm -hmm. And that means, like, with all the fun unlockables and stuff. And if it costs me $10, so be it. I got How the game on sale. the uh, period for the Battle Pass? I think it's like 60 and change days. I think it was like mm -hmm. 65 days. Okay. Um, I don't know exactly when it came out, but it says on the, the... It says how many days are left on the home screen. And right now it says 62 days left. So it's like two months and some change. I can't count that high. At least not on my fingers. Not on my toes either. Nah, or my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> how many teeth? Do you... I don't, dude, I don't, how many, like, because you know how molars are like basically all connected? Yeah. Is that just like a tooth row? You kind of chunk them together? If you had to guess how many teeth you had right now, how many would you say? Without, you don't touch probably, your mouth, don't think about it. Probably, yeah, 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 probably in like the, around 20. Because I'm thinking, like, how, like when I floss, which I do every night. <laughs> Not lying, guys, I swear. I lost my, my uh, floss is missing. Yeah. Well, I have some. You can borrow the some. The floss of, gnomes you, took it, I you, think. <laughs> the gnomes. Yeah, you can borrow some of my floss if you want it. I don't. Can borrow some of this? I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I was thinking when I'm flossing, I'm like counting in my head, like how many, yeah. like, you know, I think it's around 20. Maybe we should, listen, you want to look that up? I'm thinking. You know, how many average uh, teeth in, per adult male? <laughs> Wait, I, do the keyboard's so far away. <laughs> I'm thinking 19. Can you, do you have a phone? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. How, yeah, hopefully this doesn't sound awful. We're look, we're, right, we're at the keyboard. The keyboard isn't clacky like mine, so it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna. How many teeth? How much, yeah, how much do teeth? Do we have. 32! 32! That's nonsense. Huh. I wonder if, like, each crown is, like... Yeah, 32. That- my mouth is not that big. This is fake news. <laughs> the media's lying There's about more it. teeth in our head than we realize. Smile. We still couldn't count this the 62, not... though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... It's, it's uh, 16. Six... 16, top and oh, bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Double it. Double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna keep all my teeth, thank you very much. Yeah, you still can't get to 62 though, I don't think, right? It'd be 52. What? Because when you said like you couldn't count on your hands and feet and then teeth. So it's oh. 20 it's 20 digits for hand and feet. And then assuming you have all of them. And then 32, so it'd be 20 plus 30, it was 52, it's not enough. I'm gonna go to like the counter, you know, you go to, like check out the Walmart. And I gotta do some math in my head, like, oh, so your total is uh, 1685. <laughs> you just start. <laughs> I, I, start, I, start I, I pull my my lips back and I go. Ar, 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 ar. I'm like, uh, start counting car with your teeth. Ar, 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 ar. Yeah, that's really funny. That'd be a good bit. And then I touch, and I after I touch the money, after I touch the cash. That's like a Nathan for you like scheme. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm so excited for Zelda, dude. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's when does it come out? Do we know the date? May 12th. Uh, yeah. So less than um, one month minus one day from now. Yeah. So we, we I think we mentioned this on the last one. It's gonna be like our graduation. As we graduate. Oh, oh god. Oh god. We graduate in a month, and <laughs> it comes out the day old. before graduation. How so. are we this old? How did this happen? Quite a ride. 
<laughs> let's reminisce for a second about everything on memory lane. What happened? Uh, Wait, let's have a flashback sequence right now. Okay, everybody, are you looking? Are you watching? Here's our flashback sequence. There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking at I'm I'm reminiscing about all those treasured memories we had. Look, aren't you? Look, let me look at it. Look what's happening. I had a pretty good pickle that day. Yeah, I had a had an amazing gherkin the other day there too. Yeah. And look uh, at that. That time I, I tied my shoes within two minutes. Wait, I forgot about the time when I Oh but wait, that reminds me of when I That was a great flashback sequence. Wow. <sighs> Zelda, I was already hooked on it. Before yeah. they even showed the, the first trailer, the first gameplay trailer, and man was already contemplating pre-order. And then I, well, I'm not gonna. There's no point in pre-ordering yeah, because isn't. I'm. Do not pre-order. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do I mean, it. I'll just get it the day of or something like that. I, I don't <laughs> Dude, know when I can. PS5 owners were like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna get it day one. No biggie. Yeah. I mean, it, it's gotta be a banger. Yeah. So, but I'm not like that committed to go pre-order and get. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah. I can get it at Walmart for. Uh, or it's funny. Or something. It's really know. funny how pre-orders work. Yeah. Because it's like, the only reason you really would do it before was like you want to guarantee a copy. Because back when you could only get physical copies. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was like, well, we'll hold it here at the store for you, yep. so you could just come in and get it then. But now it's like with everything digital, like there's no need for that. Like there's no scarcity. Yeah. You can just. I think, I prefer most to have the, at least the bigger games physical. So I'm like, ah, you know, but I think digital pre-orders make sense because you play at midnight, but yeah, on most days, it doesn't. it's not convenient for me to play a game at midnight. There's usually something going on, you know? So yeah. it's like, there's no difference. I might as well just get it the, the, mor the morning of, you know? Yeah. I think the funny thing is, though, if any modern AAA title game offers me a foam football <laughs> I will be pre-ordering He said it that. once and he'll say it again. <laughs> I don't care how many times I have to ask give me the foam football on a pre-order bundle Genshin and Impact, I will buy it. Genshin Impact foam football. Yes. Yay or nay? I, it's, it's a free phone game. If they made a, phys a physical release a like physical Fortnite. Release. Like Fortnite. <laughs> Yay or nay? Ooh. I, I think everything about Genshin Impact is against who I am. But I am also entirely, like, my entire being is dedicated to being, to foam footballs. So, that's tough. It's like a coin flip. Yeah. Uh, can you put that on a coaster? No, but I can put it on a coin flip and then see which side it lands on and then decide whether or not it'll, you All know right. what I mean? Well, I'm actually driving, so. Okay, well, I just work here, so. I've been dropping that line so much recently. <laughs> I oh, know, let me, dude. Let you me tell you. You've been dropping that line for, like, the past two months, dude. It's a good one. It's iconic, Ian. Yeah, but Fortnite. Fortnite. Well, we're bouncing around. Like, I'm a little... I'm, they call me Spoink. Because if I stop bouncing around, I'll die. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah. I was waiting for that. I was in the bathroom in Anderson Hall uh, before class. The, <laughs> Relatable Westchester moment? I, uh, jump like in the chat if you've ever been in Anderson Hall in the bathroom. <laughs> and this guy just goes, bruh. And I go, Fortnite bruh. Like, he just said bruh to himself. So I, said, I said, Fortnite bruh. And he's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, you got the battle pass, bro? He's like, I get it every year. I get it, I, I get it every time. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't actually get it this time. He's like, oh, really? I'm like, nope. He's like, all right, have a good one. I'm like, yep, take care. And he leaves. I don't think he washed his, hand that, his hands that well, frankly. Ooh, kind of kind of puts a sour note yeah. on the whole story. What a funny interaction. I like it. Someone was just in the bathroom and went, bruh. <laughs> I was like, well, like, I got I to gotta talk to this guy. <laughs> this is the kind of guy I need to strike up a conversation with. I'm pickle bro. <laughs> Grenade! <laughs> that always gets me. That always gets me. Because I forget it exists. I think of like, do you know the way? Pickle Rick, bruh. Like we should explain dude, this. Everyone, it's like just like <laughs> say the most like cringy random XD humor thing you can think of. Like and you combine know, them into like raw XD pickle bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Uh, no, you have to be our age, very specifically our age, to find that funny. <laughs> yeah, freaking Morty. With our warped Rick sense of humor. Oh, yeah, Rick and, was that Soldier Boy? Rick. You ever Rick. buy the Soldier Rick. console? The Soldier game. Say, is it what is it called? Soldier Sol game console or whatever? Yeah, like this because they wanted to call it the Soldier Boy, but that was too on the nose. Or yeah. The Soldier Boy. 
I think it's, just I think it's like Soulja Game. Boy Games Console. Yeah, I, don't I think know. is what it's called. First rapper with an iPhone. <laughs> First rapper to break an iPhone too. Allegedly, he got it from Steve Jobs at some party, and he dropped it, and then they gave him another one. That's really funny. Yep, I was there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I was a. Uh, I think I was in Tijuana. The Internal Revenue Service is coming for me, Devin. Is that what IRS stands for? Internal Revenue. That's kind of. I didn't know that. I, well, I would not have been able to tell you. What is? C-R-U-M-P stand for? Cats rave under my PJs. There's no J in crump. Do you know what I'm happy about? What are you happy about? Oh, just like being alive and like the joyness of life and eating, drinking McDonald's Sprite. Donald Sprite. Donald Sprite. I think when you <laughs> very real serious gamer question here. Marek, would you rather Donald Sprite or have funny, unique sprites not present in the UI of a AAA title game? I gotta go, actually. Oh, yeah, it's a tough choice, I know. I would rather have four chips because I love little sprite stuff. We talked about this, was it last time? Uh, was it last time? It was either last time or two times ago. No, uh, I think it was it, because we talked about when we talked about remakes. I think. Yeah, yeah. So episode four. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be episode four. So yeah, Quattro. This is seven. Yeah, this Million? is seven. Wow. God. I'm seven. Golly. Years old. I'm seven. Yeah. So Final teen. Fantasy was it sixteen? Final Fantasy sixteen. Yeah. They have little sprite thingies in the menu. In some, it's not the main menus, but it's some like upgrade menus. And we saw them like, oh, we did a little. It's literally what I said yeah. back in episode four. Just put the sprites in the game. It could be for the smallest thing, but I, if I see them, I'm gonna be like, whoa, they're yeah. there. And they did it. They actually did it, and I'm so happy. And they, I'm like, that's awesome. It was some menu, some upgrade menu thingy, right? I th it was uh, the tomes like lore keeper, yeah. and then on the mini map, they I have think the they two, had it as the well. The two guys standing there. And it's like oh, in sprite form. It's like, that's yeah, cool. as opposed to just having. And they did the text. victory, the victory screen, the victory song. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, and dance as well. Yeah. And I was like, that's ex that's literally all I need. Yeah. I am now happy. Your sprites are in the game. Yeah, they didn't need like, to overdo it. Just have like yeah. a little little element. It's exactly what I was talking it's about. It's a menu. It's not like a painting in the game. Yeah, because it's, it's like a pretty. It's fantasy, but it's grounded in some sort of reality. Yeah. So to have we should maybe talk about that a little bit. It is so fantasy. This is like the most fantasy fantasy game I've seen in forever. I guess you could say it's the... <laughs> say it. Say it right now. Do it. <laughs> Do it. I, you have to commit. The Final Fantasy. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but, but, but you see, the joke is. So the joke explained. Final Fantasy 16 is a game developed by Square Enix. And so is Power Wash Simulator. It's published by Square Enix. Yeah, published Power by... <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, joke ruined. Ah, uh, get him off the show. He doesn't put deserve to be Somebody feed this. Somebody replaces dill pickles with gherkins. Someone feed this guy to the sh shrimps. <laughs> I'm one of the Krillian. <laughs> Wait, is that what is that from? Something? Yeah. Is it Shark Tail? It's is, something. Is it uh, the only two fish-related things it's I can think of that I, I that that would be a reality in? Is that one cartoon where it was like the fish in high school? Oh, fish hooks. Fish hook, dude. Yeah, and then Shark's Tail, yeah. Oscar and who's the blue one? Oscar's the one with the afro. He, that's the main, yeah, green shirt, mm -hmm. Oscar. Milo. Milo, and that the, sounds right. And then the girl. I, ooh, Ashley? No, that's the, that's the, like the antagonist girl, isn't it? Um. I don't remember. This is, this is a, this is getting pretty fishy. <laughs> you remember when they used to make like Disney show tie-in games? Like the oh, Sweet dude, Life of Zack and Cody dude. DS game and stuff like that? The Phineas and Ferb. Game that was not based off the show itself, but the movie. It's like into the other dimension or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. Called. That, that's such a lit game. Is it? I, and that was obviously, you know, it was Wii PS3 360 era. Mm -hmm. So they would have a tie-in game, also DS, right? Yeah. So they yeah. have tie-in games for all these different platforms, two of which were unique. So yeah. you get three different games from yeah. one piece of media. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Yeah. At least. And if it was like a recurring series, so there were like multiple Phineas and Ferb games. So you already have several of those, but just for the movie, you have three like, like totally dis distinct. Dis yeah, totally. Same premise, but they're distinct. You That's know? so awesome. That's something I didn't even realize I missed. I low key missed Having that. multiple versions of a game because each like 
iteration of a console is like, handles yeah. graphics differently or whatever. Yeah. Now either they're on there or they're not. Well, it's because handhelds play AAA titles now. Yeah. Like, that's the difference. They weren't able to do that, obviously. We should handhelds. Your hand is a little clammy. Are you, <laughs> you nervous? <laughs> no, that's actually the... Um... Wow, your hands are really clammy. Oh, my God. It's like... Viscous. I don't think that's clammy. There's actual these uh, guys. Well, there's clams. I don't think there's visual clam visual listeners are clams everywhere. Visual listeners everywhere. There's a there's actual water dripping down. Oh, it's on the microphone cord. It's heading towards the. Oh my the, gosh. Oh my. Oh. Uh, pew pow. We, wait wait. Can I make an awful sound? Uh, warning. <laughs> oh god. No. Don't hit it. Don't. Hit it. <laughs> that was the sound of the PC exploding. Paul, put a nuclear explosion in here. Oppenheimer be like, <laughs> oh, new Christopher Nolan film. Do you want to be a? Do you want to be a film podcast for a second? Here? I've seen nothing about that. You don't know any Christopher Nolan. I just know stuff? about the the allegedly fake explo nuclear explosion they created. Yeah, they're not real at all. Very much, yep. a, very much a conspiracy theory. Yeah, the uh, new Christopher Nolan film Oppenheimer. I can't wait for that. Do you think it'll be as good as the epic rap battle of history, Thanos versus Oppenheimer? <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Thanos wins. Woo. What else, dude? Smosh food battle. Smosh. Food. That's a classic. Do they ever make? Is there a Smosh game? Like, I feel like there'd be a Smosh DS game, don't you? They there was like I think a web browser game. Web browser, <gasps> web browser games. Oh, dude. All right. Wow, wow, Wubsy. Oh. <laughs> Let's just talk about it. There was the one where you you're in like the regular kind of overworld, and then there was one that was like this Wubsy's two... underwater adventure. I thought the one that I played was like a 2D side scroller platformer. Yeah. Yeah. They're both they're both side scrollers, but one's underwater and the other one. Mine was just... not underwater. Yeah. I played the one. I played. No, I played both because I'm real. Yeah. I'm a real Wubsy fan. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'm not a real Wubsier. A wub wow, well, Wubsiest, Wubsy, 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 Wubsy enthusiast. Wow, wow. But, uh, what was the other ones? There was one that I played that was, like, I can't remember the cartoon. It was either, like, Cat Dog or, like, Ooh. Tom or Tom and Jerry. But it was a game where, it, it's, think Shell Shock. You know Shell Shock? How it's, like, a tank and you, you have, like, the arcs and the, the shooting power. You throw, I, know, I know those types of games. Yeah. I don't know the, I know the specific So one. the one I'm talking about, you could throw stuff. It might have been Rugrats. You could throw, like, paper airplanes. Mm -hmm. You could throw, like... Rugrats. Oh, I can't remember the show. It's gonna. Oh, that's really annoying. I can picture the the game so clearly, but I I was I would play that for There's hours. There's some great games. I gotta look that one Dude, up. Dude, Fancy Pants. Yeah. Dude. That was like. Oh, that that was like the that came out around the same time as like what you're going to die or like like stop you're gonna die the, like, like the you're, you have five seconds to live something like that. The world's hardest game type stuff. N well, the, it, this was like a, a console game, but uh, I, I remember it was just it really embodies like the mm -hmm. 2012, 2013. Did you play N? N? Yeah, it's just called N. I played N plus. Yeah, N plus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. N plus on the 360. Yeah. I had it on yeah. the, uh, the Xbox Live Store. I wasn't sure if there was like an original one. That's why. I said yeah, that, that game goes it, hard. That's that a, is that's a good yeah, game. Yeah, I'm so Xbox Live Arcade. Castle Probably Miner Z. My Ooh. favorite era of games. Yeah. Just that. Also, so many good ones. I will like be biased and extend that to that era entirely, not just what was on the Xbox at the time. Yeah, because there was a couple was, of non-Xbox you know, ones. DS Wii stuff that was also yeah. going on at the time, but it's like professional yeah. shovelware, dude. I know. <laughs> it's it's so great. Good. It's so good. What is what was your favorite multiplayer experience on the Xbox Live Arcade? Because oh. there was a lot of like really good like clone type games that are used like the mm -hmm. xbox live avatar as like the characters and stuff i remember having a blast with yeah um castle miner z mm -hmm. a huge one obviously Ca Ca castle miner z battle block castle crashers battle block avatar laser wars avatar laser yep. stop your dude minecraft minecraft is an xbox live arcade game because they were they were all in the same yeah umbrella. they were not the, yeah. they're in like a separate library yeah that's right You're and then right. Oh crap! You you haven't played this, I don't think. Doritos Crash Course. I played it. Okay, you have. Okay. I have I, maybe it. I'm, I'm confusing with somebody else. There's a lot. Yeah. Of, there's a lot of handsome men who look just like <laughs> you out there. So. There are. There are. Uh. I'm kidding, guys. He's one in a million. I'm one in a billion. I'm one in a trillion. I'm one in eight billion, actually. Numbers are going up. Okay. Okay. But pause. I'm pausing. I need to know now, and if our answers don't align, at least somewhat, they don't have to align. But if if we don't see eye to eye on this to some extent, um, I'm gonna have to go. I think. What is? I think we'll be good here. Your favorite cool math game. 
Ooh. So... This is very important. It's funny you mention that. Or games. Because I... I was never a big cool math game oh. user because my school had it blocked. Wow. They had it blocked for, at least my high school had it blocked mm -hmm. for junior and senior year. I could play it freshman and sophomore, but I just didn't really that much. Not middle school? I don't really think I, w I even had like a laptop mm. to play it on unless I was at like a, a computer doing something for the class. They blocked uh, D's nuts jokes in my school. That's really funny. <laughs> That's but a... let me answer your question so we, we're on the same page here. The the biggest cool math games I played, single player ones, I'll start with those. So the biggest single player games I've ever played were Duck Life. Oh dude, Duck Life. Duck oh. Life 1, 2, 3, like I yeah. think those, I don't, I don't even know if 3, I think 3 came out like somewhere there's when like, I was in high school. There's more Duck Life games than there are. Yeah. Men I think that I've kissed. Duck Life. T I mean, yeah. I mean, that's a lot too. Uh, <laughs> like three or four. At least a handful. At least six or seven. But I think when I was in high school, Duck Life Two was like the new one, and then three just came out. Mm -hmm. I think that's sort of the timeline there. But uh, yeah, Duck Life was a huge single player thing for me. And then I also played. Um, I forget if it's like super tic tac toe, or just like it, it's like an adjective followed by tic tac toe. And basically what it is, is each square in tic-tac-toe is another game of tic-tac-toe. Oh. In order to get the square on the big one, you have to win a game of tic-tac-toe in the middle. So it's like Croc. Yeah, Tori 3D. Okay. Uh, um, but that was another one I played a lot. And then the multiplayer experiences, um, it was like the Fire and Ice Girl. Fire Boy and Water Girl. Oh. Fire Boy and Water Girl, oh. that's what it was, yeah. That's like low-key us. That, and then I played... Wow, you hate me. I'm sorry. I was so caught up in we're, cool math games, element, I forgot to acknowledge... We're element cross lovers. The, the, re the relationship that we share. Yep. That's on me. What was the other multiplayer games on there? I'm forgetting names. There was one that was like a... Uh, I'm thinking... It was a, a tank, sort of like how, you know, in... What's that one we... We play? Tank, tank, tank. You know, we play? Yeah. What? What's that tank game? It's like that. Uh, I just work here. Uh, I'd have to look it up, but... Yeah, that, those were some of the ones I played, yeah. Which, what about you? Favorite cool math Dude, games? I was so worried you were going to say Parking Simulator. I don't even know what that is. Good. Okay. Because <laughs> people who like that game are like, I, they need to die. Did you, were you like an impossible game person? No. Okay. I liked Run. Oh I, god, Run. I, I forgot about IQ that. IQ Ball. You know IQ Ball? Wow, it's not little, by name. It's a little like, tough, like this purple tuft of fur, and it's just a mouse, it's a mouse only game. So when I was in like the latter half of high school, or even like beginning of college, and I wanted to play something that was easy to like just mm. lean back and play. Yeah, and also like you don't have to worry about looking weird, typing stuff like not typing or, or typing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on if you're avoiding work. Yeah, which I've never done. <laughs> yeah, we've never done that. Um, so IQ ball. Yeah, what is that? What is that? Yeah, it just you just like your little guy, and you just click on the screen, mm -hmm. and you have to like hit a target, and it, it levels get more complicated as you go on. So like it'll be like moving, oh, like different stuff. You know, yeah, like it's like on a track. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, now. so you can't like you have no limbs. You just gotta go swimming. Yeah, 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 yeah. And your score is calculated by like how many how many clicks you you do. Yes. So it's like minimum minimum clicks. What else? Oh, there gosh. was uh, the one. It was like salt and pepper. It's like called Wait, comma or whatever. Seven or comma. Dude, what's up? Come on. I'm waving my hands right now. Visual learners. Yes, yeah, visual learners. Papa's Pizzeria. Nope, never played it. No, you didn't play any of the Papa's no, games. I no, no. I'm sorry. I, this is a hot take for me, but I've never even touched one. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> you played Club Penguin. I, I I had Club Penguin membership. I remember I, my mom. I shout out! That shout out! My mom got. Uh, I forget. I think it was like my tenth birthday. She got me like a year long subscription yeah. to Club Penguin online, and I'll never forget that because I think up until that point, that was probably the happiest I ever was. <laughs> was the getting my one year Club Penguin membership. Oh, when you get the one year, that's saying that you're in. That, that's why, because it was like, because it was, it came on like the, the card, like a yes, gift card. Yes, I love that. Yeah. Those are so cool. And it, it said like $60 Those or whatever. Those designs are so lame though. Yeah. They're all like all corporatized, even like the yeah. ones for game stuff. But I have this core memory that whenever I think in Club Penguin, I, I, I think about it, is I was in my living room uh, on the couch and I was like, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, and I'm sitting with my mom's bulky laptop it's this giant laptop on my on my my, my lap mm -hmm. as a laptop does playing club penguin and i realized that i don't know how i don't know how long it was but it had to have been at least four hours straight i was just sitting yeah there. and i was like oh god i'm so hungry so i go <laughs> you forgot how yeah. hungry you were and yeah. i go i go and i make myself some pizza bites 
Oh, uh, that's so real. And I just, I'm like, that is so. What a moment. That, that's that's a real actual nostalgia so moment right there. 2011 core, I think. Treasured memory right there, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, 2011 would and be a good And the crazy time. thing is, yeah. the email I used for that account, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say it because it's my username. It's the same as my, my email. My username is the same as my email. Okay. But I, my mom would like not let me make a little penguin account or an email. Okay. You know, I was like, you know, I could like do stuff on the computer, but you can't. You know, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. You know, there's that's, rules. That's reasonable. And I did it in secret. So I go to make Ooh. an email Ooh. Uh, with that. With, I make a new email for Club Penguin because it was like, you have to use your, your parents' email also yeah. if you want to. So yeah. I did the thing, made my own email, own username. And I, that is my main email to this day. That's so. It's awesome. not my personal one. My, my personal one I, I made like yeah, cut like three years ago. Yeah, but that is still the email I use for most of my gaming stuff. That's so cool. And it has the same thing as my Club Penguin um, username, mm-hmm. and I still know them, I still know my Club Penguin password. I wow. memorized it, and it's it's just numbers. But I'll say it, and then we'll come back because you guys you guys can't hear this. All right, guys, we're back. I just told them my Club Penguin password. <laughs> it actually did. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really fun. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I love that we can just do that. Yeah. We can just say we can say whatever. Quick, bleep this out, and we're back. Oh my <laughs> god, this is fun. <laughs> we have all the power. This would probably land on your editing job, so this is uh, <laughs> this is on you. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Hey, <laughs> but also like mo- like games that tie into media. I love that. And then I have all three of the Club Penguin games. There's two DS games and one Wii game. Maybe yeah. there's another one that I don't know of. Mm-hmm. But did you have this at all? I had one Club Penguin DS game. Yeah. And I can't remember what it was. And I think I don't think I really Club ever Penguin, played Club Penguin Elite Penguin Force and Club Penguin yes, yes, Herbert's Revenge. Yes, they're so Elite cool. Elite Penguin Force. They're like point oh. and click type yes. games. There's also mini games. It's I on remember. The DS. It's, I have them both in my apartment. That's so awesome. I need to wait. I need to gush. I had Elite Penguin Force because yep. I remember... There's like a secret agent little hideout in the yes, dance in the yes. dance club, and it's isn't it in the dance club. I'm th- or it's in some building. It's in uh, the pizzeria. The, no, the building where they have. There isn't the news building where they have all the secret. There's that one building. Is the, it the tour building? The top corner of the map. It might be the tour guide. Yeah, because I remember. Like yeah. Base. But there was a, a thing you used to get yes, into. Thing yeah. On the. Oh. I think that was when they first added. It's like they were they were doing tie in. Things with this game. That's so cool! Oh, it's so cool! Dude, okay, Club Penguin, there's a reason why it's as successful as it is. We both share so much love for this franchise, Uh, and it was just uh, stupid little kids who couldn't even think, let alone be conscious, playing this penguin game. Alright, favorite Club Penguin game? Mini game? Mini game? Mm -hmm. Um, I was really partial to the the snowball throw. This might have been only a, a Christmas one. My snowball. Christmas exclusive mini game. Of oh, the snowball fight? It was no, not a snowball fight. It was like you throw it at targets. You throw snowballs at oh. targets. Was that so- like an? Or it might have been like bowling or something. It was either. Oh, that might have been an overworld mini game. That, there like, are overworld ones. Yeah, yeah, that might have been an overworld. And I remember just doing that. A remember lot. when they added the, the one where you were you maybe you didn't play it past that point, but when they added the puffle launch one. Puffle where launch. You shoot the puffle when out I of the, stopped out of playing, I don't remember that. But I mostly stopped playing right after they released the orange puffle. Ah, uh, yeah. Because I remember that was like the special Halloween one. I think he was the one. main, the main one of. I think maybe, maybe the red one was the mascot of that. But I remember they added like new puffles. Pup. It's such a weird word. Um, I remember they added new puffles, and then shortly after they added the new. It was like puffle launch, and I think there's a mobile version of it too, but it's not. Yeah, I don't. They re- killed I don't re- Club Penguin. I know. And then they replaced it with a crappy mobile version. Is it still sucks. up? Is and, it still? And then, and then they took that down. Oh, they did. And then people are trying to bring it back. You know, all these different versions, and, and those get taken down. But there's still ones that exist. But you didn't hear it from me. Yeah. If, here's the thing: if the internet wants it bad enough, you yeah. can find it. Um, but I, the only other thing I we I feel like we're obligated to mention this about Club Penguin if we're talking about it. Trying to flip the iceberg. Oh my god. I feel like there's no way you can just ignore that. I knew it was a fluke, but I was still like... No, they had they had a real event with it. Yeah, but like... You Before. Know, but up, yeah. up until that point, yeah. there was no... It was just... A little Like gaming urban legends. Yeah. Dude. Alright, yeah. on three, say what you're thinking right now. One. Two. Pika Blue. Hero, Hero Brian. I was thinking of Pika Blue. Oh. Or like Yoshi being in... Uh, or Toad being in Melee. Toad being it. Yeah. I, I think Herobrine, Herobrine was more than Herobrine, a gaming urban legend. That is top tier. Herobrine is culture. That is ingrained in I a generation. I my list culture. of white culture. White. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh, he's going. He's doing it. He's I adding it to his. I have a... 
I have a bulleted list on my cellular phone and my notes app of things that are white culture. <laughs> so we have Hamilton. Oh, we're reading it. Oh, good. Mud wrestling. Real. Cornhole. Okay, very real. Square dancing. Yeah. Uh, having pickles in a plastic container. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Yeah. Old money. <laughs> <laughs> Wiffle ball. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Having a voicemail message. Yeah, okay. And Hero Brian. Yeah, that's a good list. But some of the. And counting. <laughs> Old money. Woo! That's good. I think, yeah, Hero Brian, that deserves to be on that list. I could talk about Hero Brian for forever, man. Can we, can we, we should acknowledge, though, it wasn't just white people that, in, that indulged to <laughs> play with Minecraft and Hero Brian, alright? That's not. We're not, that's not what we're suggesting. Minecraft is very cool. Minecraft is for everybody and has been played by everybody. And my right butt cheek hurts a lot right now. Uh, sorry, I, I, that's my chair. I feel bad. <laughs> um, you know, if only something could be done about it. You know what I like? What do you like? Wearing pants when it's appropriate to wear pants. As there, opposed to wearing shorts when it's there, appropriate to wear shorts. Shorts are comfy and easy to wear. And I've been saying that for a million years. And you know what else I like? What else do you like? Shoes. But you know what else I like? <laughs> Persona. Okay. And you know what? <laughs> and recently, and it, this has to be real. It, it looks too good to be fake, but also it yeah. could be a very convincing fake leak. Um, there was some Persona concert event thing a couple days ago, and uh, there were just like dumb little announcements. There was nothing big, as always. And the classic Atlas in the replies, performance. Someone posted somewhere, and then it was posted to Twitter in the replies. Um, in I think end of 2021, supposedly there is a there's this video. It's like half a minute long of in development footage mm -hmm. for a Persona 3. What's clearly a Persona 3 remake, uh, Sonic Frontiers, which has already come out, and then some uh, another uh, Jet Set Radio game. Yes, so, I, I remember that. I remember oh, that. Man. New Jet Set Radio game? That one looked pretty legit. Yeah. That it, one looked pretty legit to me. It, it'd be a really cool fake leak, but... It's such an obvious fake leak because everybody wants Jet Set Radio. <laughs> yeah. It's like, of course, if that's like the video gamer's choice. of If you're like a quote-unquote gamer, like you think best games like you'd want to see again, Jet Set Radio. Yeah. It's like... But we got Bomber or Cyberphone coming out. What is... That's still, supposed to be... There's still no release month. Still no release anything, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, but it's supposed to come out this year. It could have been delayed by now for all Team Reptile, man. They're, they're great, but please just be transparent with us more, please. Thank yeah. you. Is it the Le Lethal League team? Yeah, that's oh, Team Reptile. Oh, yeah. baby. Yeah. That's going to be juicy. But it's so weird that Persona 3 is in such a weird position because the first two games are really old. And, and like, not they're, they're almost not yeah. even the same type of game. Yeah. You know, it's And like, they're not very popular aside from, you know, within the fandom of people saying, why don't you talk about these The people that don't actually really care. They're like, they're yeah. not even normal people. They like Persona 1 and 2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. don't have rights. Yeah. <laughs> and Persona 3, I'm actually going to go out of order because Persona 4 uh, and Persona 4 Golden are, they're pretty like modern, yeah. but they were, you know, there was the Golden uh, obviously a, remake. Yeah. Obviously some date, like there's a yeah. dated element to it. And there was a re-release, what, two years ago now? And it still has yeah. some of that old clunk. Yeah, but it's, you know, you know they did a little, you know, they did some visual updates. They got That's uh, what it needs, yeah, man. sliders for um, like difficulty XP stuff, just a little quality of life thing crazy. And it's, you know, remastered. And now it's on all the platforms. Yeah. Same with 3 and 5. 5, I don't have to explain. Yeah. That's just mo that's a, a modern game being ported to newer platforms. Yeah. And 3 is such a weird, weird spot because it is similar to 4 and 5, but... It's also... Very different. Yeah. I think the weirdest thing they do is announcing announcements and then announcing nothing at those <laughs> announcements. Yeah, they, they do. They That's hype up so their announcements, weird. but then there's nothing at the announcement. It's like, here's a cool pin you can get. <laughs> like, wow, I'm going to... Whoa. I'm on a Persona 3 myself. Wow. <laughs> I digress. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're on the edge of the... We're on the boundaries. Speaking of being on edge... Oh, yeah? I think we're on the edge of this episode. Yeah, we haven't gone for a while. I mean... Definitely, we have a little bit of a cutout moment. Set with this cutout set. Yeah, when, when the computer exploded. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of a lot of moments to be had here, but uh, yeah, it probably would be smart to wrap this one up. It was a great time, and it's kind of a blur, but there was there was a lot of stuff that I enjoyed. 
Yeah, this and was I, probably oh, one of I the more fun I love talking ones. about Club Penguin. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's, that, that's why this one was so good, because we, we talked about, like, nostalgic I stuff. I blacked out for that. <laughs> now that I think about it. Now, now I'm back, though. Yeah. And Joe, thank you again. Yes. That's just wonderful. Thank you so much. That was absolutely... It's our first ever, Ooh. like, fan send in something. <laughs> you know? Yo, do fan mail. Woo! Smosh. And they just start sending in, like, money and... Yeah, oof. And feces. Yeah, that was... And glue and... And, and gum. The gum can be good. <laughs> yeah, but... Pre-chewed. <laughs> yeah, but it has to be... Let's, like let's stay here. Pre-chewed. I'll be our question. Yeah, you guys, look your uh, gum pre-chewed or not? Yeah. Well, <laughs> what's your favorite meal that you like to include uh, gum in? <laughs> gum stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That'd be awful. What's it, your favorite gum-based cuisine? The thing about gum is that if you put it into any meal, one piece of gum is enough to ruin it. Yeah, because yeah. Because it's just sticky. It's and it doesn't like. It goes around. It would just. Be, and it wouldn't change. It wouldn't cook. It wouldn't dissolve. Depending on how chewed gum. it is, especially. Yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna. We. Let's be, let's get a better question. <laughs> There's so much thought to be had. Well, I thought we could segue into a better question, but clearly you don't have one because you smell like rotten eggs. You know what? I do like eggs. Why not? Why not that? Why not? Would you? Do you prefer eggs scrambled, sunny side up? The other thing that I'm forgetting. Omelet? That's what it is. Omelet, yeah. <laughs> or do you like them in a milkshake? Okay, milkshakes or eggs? Question of the day. <laughs> Broccoli or... Wait, are you, you're right. Broccoli or jeans? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my god. We got it. We got it. Question of the day. Broccoli or jeans? We gotta know. I, do you have an answer for that? <laughs> that's such a funny question. Well, well, I guess we'll find out what our answer is <laughs> on the next episode. Oh, the baton. The time. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, I can't hit record. I can't hit the.